Have you ever asked yourself why you were successful at solving math problems? Or conversely, why were you unsuccessful while your classmate was successful? In our team we have asked ourselves these questions and decided to give them plenty of attention. Since 2012 we have been working on a creating a model that describes students' attitudes for solving mathematical problems. We have also focused on practical impact on the teaching process in a school practice. While teachers know how successful or unsuccessful their pupils are, they do not always know why this is the case. Since 2019 we have been working with a number of lower secondary schools with the Society of Mathematics Teacher of the Union of Czech Mathematicians and Physicists and with the Czech School Inspectorate to precision our model. The model describes the pupils' internal assumptions for problem solving and covers both cognitive and metacognitive components. These components are reading comprehension, mathematical creativity, mathematical intelligence, working memory, numerical proficiency, tendency to solve problems algorithmically, motivation and self-confidence. Understandably, our model cannot describe the pupil completely. Always exists an area we do not yet know. On the one hand, it's a certainly possible to develop a fairly complex structure that will describe a pupil with great accuracy, but its a practical application in a real school will be impossible. The screening tool we are creating is designed to help a teacher find potential weaknesses in a pupils of an entire class in a relatively short period of time. Our tool therefore emphasizes the following aspects. Non-time consuming and ease of conducting the investigation and ease of evaluation which doesn't need the cooperation of other professions such as psychologists or sociologists. One of the key results is to find a relatively simple categorization of pupils according to the identified prerequisites for solving mathematical problems. However, we are not content with just asking for possible causes but also address how to meaningfully reinforce weaknesses in pupils to stop perceiving mathematical tasks negatively and accept at least some task as a personal challenge to their further development. Let us conclude by saying that the technical development that has accompanied our society in recent years is dependent on mathematics, which is hidden in the background. The problem-solving process itself is essential the same. What changes is the content and the fact that there is no one standing in front of us to encourage us and tell us that we are doing the right thing. <laughs>